Salutations in the name of the Lord. Uh, we greet you. I was thinking about feet washing versus baptism. And when you take one and the other, you're putting a body down in the water of the river, or you're taking a bowl and you're cleaning one part of the body, it's almost like, and I understand what the foot washing is about, it's about sending off into ministry to defeat that bring good tidings and uh but remember when peter said lord you know you're my lord you don't have to wash my feet and uh this might not be in correct context but it's the message and uh you don't have to wash my feet i should be washing yours and the lord said if i do not wash your feet then you have no part with me and then Peter said, Lord, wash my whole body. Well, that was like a representation of the baptism. You know, it's not just about a feet washing, but you need to wash your whole body. And uh, it's my belief, and it's personal, that the baptism and the whole body is greater than the foot washing and the, just one ministry and minister. And I can actually show you in scripture. And if you'll wash somebody's whole body, you'll wash somebody's feet. Come on, let's be real. Um, Romans 12 and 4 it says, For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Okay. And it's, you got to remember that these are we're not just talking about human flesh here we're talking about the body of christ and offices and business and and ministry and and there's a deeper meaning to just oh i'm washing your feet because you your feet need some washing it's it's more than that okay you got to keep that in mind also and then in first corinthians 12 if you go down to verse uh 19 it says, and if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor can the head say to the feet, we have no need of you. I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble feeble are necessary and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness for our comely parts have no need but the but god hath tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but, the, the, but that the members should have the same care one for another. Whether one member suffer, all members suffer. Suffer it. A one member honored, all members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ and the members in particular and god has set some in the church and then he tells you all the offices but it's not really talking about per se okay this is the foot i want you to wash his foot because his foot is uh dingy and it need care you put some balm on and it's cracking and stuff that's not really what it's about it's about carrying the message it's about um okay those in the church let's say somebody um may cut on the lights and you say oh that's nothing anybody can do that but the lord is saying that person is more honorable than the person who actually preaches in the pulpit because that person is honored and the person 
who was in the pulpit is serving everyone. Where we honor one, the other one's being judged and don't even know it. So there is a, I don't know what you would call it, there's a uh, misconception all in the body of Christ. It would seem like one is more important because they have this job or all these jobs. But realistically, humbly, if they have all those jobs, it's because they're a servant. They're not a king. <laughs> they're, they're serving people. You know, they're bringing out trays and they're handing out towels and sweeping and mopping and vacuuming, or they should be. That, that should be the spirit that one has. Amen. So just a thought. Just a, um, this little thought process, because, uh, you know, if, we, if we're about feet washing, we can make that religious too, like anything else. Or baptism, you can know, you know, you just do baptisms, and you say, well, I did these baptisms, so I'm going to heaven. That's not so. That's not true. You know, um, so the blood of Jesus alone, and his ways are not our ways. And so, I just felt like I should make that clarified in the word of God cleared up some because there's some people who don't even have um you know hands or there's some some person might be missing an arm or people might be blind and then you you know you, you're making a religion out of a person's body or an example and some of those things are not even you know in existence so you just gotta be cautious Stay in the truth, stay in the word of God, stay in the spirit, always pray, iron sharpens iron, fellowship and fellowship, humble and humble, amen. Keep looking up, give your life to Jesus.